Hello folks, Ben Cocaine here, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, sat in a lay-by, I find myself doing this quite often, I travel uh, to training for rugby. I uh, travel about, it's probably about an hour and a half travel altogether, but I meet the boys halfway in Beverly. Um, and I generally get over this way in good time, so I pull up in a lay-by do some scrolling on social media like you do, send a few messages out, catch up with a few people um, and do the odd video like I'm doing now. So um, uh, I just wanted to quickly talk about um, having options from a financial point of view um, and I'm no financial expert, I say this all the time, no expert, uh, I've got a few things going on but I am not an entrepreneur, I don't think. I uh, probably need to look into that word in a bit more detail, but I've said it before, I see entrepreneurs as people who have got huge business, huge traditional business, multiple businesses making millions. I'm, that's not me. Uh, I'm chasing the million, I'm chasing it, uh, but I'm not there just yet, so I don't put myself in that category, and I think it's bullshit when people do put themselves in that category, when really they might have made a few quid. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being an aspiring entrepreneur and chasing the dreams and the goals and all the rest of it but if you're somebody that's not done the big stuff yet and you've not made the big money don't go running around saying you're an entrepreneur that's the housekeeping part done that's all I've got to say about that um, but from a, a financial point of view I, I mentioned it on my last video what I talked about um, multiple streams of income different revenues coming in uh, and so on and there's obviously a number of ways you can do that. You can go out and get two, three jobs, four jobs, depending on your circumstances. You can get as many jobs as you want. Um, if you need money desperately for a certain specific um, event or something that's going on or you need a new vehicle or, I don't know, whatever it might be, you can use a credit card. You can get a loan. Um, but when you do them kind of things, when you find yourself paying back, if you're only using the one source of income you've got, it's probably not why I don't think it's wise. And I'm just trying to open your eyes here to doing a side project. Um, and I'm beating the drum about this all the time lately because I don't think that when I get to pension age or when I'm due my old age pension, I don't believe there will be one. I don't believe it'll be available. The way the world's going, the way that the UK is going in particular, I don't fancy relying on having a state pension uh, when I get to 65 or 68 or whatever it is these days, I don't even really know. Uh, I wouldn't mind retiring before that to be totally honest, but um, yeah, I just don't fancy relying on that uh, as my get out when I come to retirement age or when I want to finish working. Um, I just don't fancy it. So. Um, and I don't think it'll be around, if I'm totally honest. So this is where having a sideline around what you already do would be a smart move. Because like I said, if, if you're somebody that's, excuse me, you like to do nice things, you like to uh, you like to eat out, you like to go on nice holidays, you like to drive a nice car, uh, you like nice furniture within your property. Uh, if you've only got one income, no matter how good your income is, then that's the only thing you've got to rely on for it. Or the alternative, like I just touched on before, is you can get a loan, you can remortgage, uh, you can get a credit card, um, you can do stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you've still got to pay it back. You're in debt and you cannot, you know, I don't want to live my whole life in debt and, and I don't think you should live. want to live your life in debt. Uh, yes, the, there's good debt, uh, obviously, if you're investing into something, you know, property or whatever. Um, then you're mortgaged, then that's a debt that, you know, we, we, we come to expect really. Doesn't mean we've got to, but we come to expect uh, that as debt and things that we see as a priority. And I'll give you an example that for me, my only stress, financial stress, if I would even call it a stress, is the fact that I want to pay my mortgage off. That's it. That, because we're brought up in a mindset of, you go out, get a job, get your house, live your life, have kids, whatever, pay your mortgage off. Um, and that's just how we brought up. That's the mind frame that we brought up in. Now, I want to pay my mortgage off before I'm 40. I'm 34 now, approaching 35. Um, so I want to get that mortgage paid off. I want to get that done. But to do that, 
I'm never, ever, ever going to be able to do that just on one source of income. I'm not. I'm just not. I just don't earn enough money to do that. And no doubt, if I did earn a, if I were on, let's say, if I were on 200 grand a year, I would probably buy a property anyway that were going to cost me, that were going to chew up a load of that monthly salary. You know what I mean? So that's, um, you kind of live to your means a little bit in that kind of uh, environment or in that kind of thing what I'm talking about there you, you live to your means jot salary so I, I touched on it before when I were earning good money through rugby I got a better car uh, yes every month I paid more off my mortgage and so on but you just do that you naturally just do that now uh, the other alternatives obviously if you want the better things um, you can get it on credit you can get the loans you can get the credit cards uh, finance and all that kind of stuff or you can get a side project going on and there's so many opportunities out there right now where I don't understand why if somebody's only got one source of, uh, of income and they're moaning that they're skint or they're not happy with the, what they get paid or they're not happy with the, 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 the hours that they're working, I can't get my head around it. I cannot get my head around that because there's so many opportunities out there right now for you to make a sideline income without really interfering with your life too much. Yes, of course, you're going to have to put a couple of hours in a day or, I don't know, you might put 10 hours a week aside to, to run your little sideline business. But if it's going to prevent you getting into more debt to do nicer things or have nicer things, why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? I bet if you sat and thought about the, the amount of hours that you sit and watch TV on an evening or... Um, the amount of hours in the day that you find that you're doing nothing productive you could be doing a little bit of sideline side business there's so much that you can do online these days to make money um, so you should really look into it and I'm beating that drum again hammering it home again It's uh, like I said it's a red hot topic with me uh, at this moment in time and it's something that I always encourage and, and advise um, particularly within the environment that I'm involved in, the sporting environment, because I know that sportsmen in my particular field, there's probably a top 10% of players who will make the significant salaries, 100 grand plus, uh, or whatever it might be, but typically the average wage in my, in my uh, job is probably, my profession, or when I was full-time professional, is probably somewhere between 60 and 80 grand a year, that would probably be an average wage, good wage, but not enough to change your life so sidelines and this is what I'm, all, I'm talking about all the time now you can do stuff online you can get a little side nutrition business skincare business uh, utilities business uh, saving people money on the gas and electric you can dabble into the cryptocurrency which is red hot at the moment if you're not looking into that at the moment I would highly recommend it something I've got involved in lately and uh, this month I think we've made about a thousand dollars from it and it's cryptocurrency so it's a, it's not taxable so there's there's uh, one for you there. If you want to know a bit more about that, come at me. Um, wine business, uh, coffee businesses, nutrition businesses. There's so much out there for you to go out and make a side income. And you can do a lot of it online. You know, there's a lot of it where you might need to go and uh, go out and do some physical stuff or whatever. Go out of your house, uh, be a bit of an inconvenience for you. But anything that's worth having generally is going to be a little bit inconvenient for you at times so um, so yeah I suppose the the point I'm getting at here is if you're somebody that's only got one source of income please go out and find another one unless you're making millions and you're not living to your means and you're not you know blowing it all and fair play to you um, but even so if you are earning a great wage anyway why would you not look at investing into something that's going to give you returns because I can tell you this now that leaving money in your bank in your savings account or your ISA is making you fuck all to be totally honest uh, the bank rates at the moment um, are terrible unless you've got millions and millions and millions sat in there you're not really going to make anything by leaving your money sat in a bank so um, look at other avenues like I said if you've got any queries or questions about this or you're wondering uh, you want pointing in the right direction come at me I'm happy to give you some some guidance and I won't give it based on trying to benefit myself because that's not my style uh, I've do it a numerous times with one of the young boys at Hull KR I pointed him to a guy who's in a nutrition business because he's interested in training and nutrition and he wants to make some extra money so I sent him down that route um, you might have interest in other bits and pieces where I might be able to help you I like to think I'm a good networker I like to help people so 
Uh, so yeah, if you're somebody that's in that position in your life right now where you're looking for something else, you've finally realised, fucking hell, I'm not buying stuff on credit cards anymore, I'm not getting loans out anymore, what is the other way forward to do it? Well, the other way is simply by having something going on on the side. Um, and like I said, I'd love to be able to help you with that, I'd love to be able to point you in the right direction. Uh, I've got numerous opportunities that I can personally help you with. Uh, to help you start doing that um, but just open your mind broaden your mindset uh, and go out there and do it get rid of the credit cards cut them up um, I can't I couldn't think of anything worse than having a credit card where every month I know that I've got to pay my minimum payment just to cover the interest on it and then they're going to put more interest on it and you know and so on and so on and so on yes like I said you might need uh, car finance you might need a mortgage or whatever but to live a good lifestyle you shouldn't have to go down the route of um, topping up credit cards and getting loans and stuff like that you should just have a little bit of something going on what's going to bring you another income so you can go out and do your nice stuff so <clears throat> a bit of a waffle today folks <coughs> something like i said it's on my mind constantly of late i do like speaking about it because my mind is always thinking about it um and um i don't care what anybody says money is not the be all and end all but you certainly can't do a lot of things without it particularly the good stuff so that's all i've got for you today folks i will have a great day thanks for tuning in again if you did like what i've had to say leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down but if you've listened to it all this way i'm gathering you got something from it or you just like my voice or you think i'm a good looking lad either way that's great so thanks for your attention folks have a great day have a great week and uh please feel free to leave a comment or uh subscribe to the channel that'd be awesome as well um so yeah have a great one i'll see you soon folks